Okay, guys, here we are. We're we're back. Split 14, locker hopping. We're getting really close to finishing up the run. And so here's what I would say is one of the most frustrating splits of uh, the entire run because uh, this can either uh, this is this is a make or break situation for your run. Uh, it, it relies entirely on RNG, which is uh, very frustrating to be put uh, right at the end of the run. Um, I am I am not a fan that that this is the fastest way to do this, but um, it is, and there's nothing I can really do about it, so there's no use in complaining. Uh, so there's a very specific thing that you can do with the PID that I have not really uh, talked about much up to this point. Uh, when you click on it out of combat... Um, it just sends you to uh, just wherever, just w wherever the heck in the facility. You pop up in any of these rooms that you've explored before, any of them at all. Uh, so, um, yeah. So, we only have two places left to backtrack to to get our 100% um, going into the warp tower. Or, like, basically uh, the rest of the entire map outside of the warp tower, which would be, uh, there's an area of three rooms over here, and there's an area of, it's just like a little string of rooms that goes off over here, uh, from, from down here. So, um, we're trying to go somewhere around here first, and then we try to warp somewhere around here second so we can take care of this. And then just head right up to the warp tower from there without having to use any more PID charges. Uh, so uh, let's hop right into it, shall we? So uh, we have 17 uh, PID charges. We came off of the Hank hallway pretty good. Uh, so we can afford to, to use a few to be able to get to where we need to go. Uh, so remember, we're, we're just trying to get as close to this room as possible. So let's let's click it once. And this is where locker hopping officially starts. First warp. Okay, so this would be good in, in a different situation. Uh, but this is exactly uh, kind of where we don't want to be. Um, we, this is, this is where we want to be second, so we're looking to get a little bit closer. Uh, nope, we are a little further away. Nope, even more. Uh, no, still far away. Um, we can get closer. See, now you can kind of see um, where my gripe with this comes from. Because eventually it gets to the point where, oh, well now you have six charges left and you pretty much have to take this. This is about this is about as close as you want to, like, using any more would just be a risk. And so it's, it's like you... Mm. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. That was an example of a, t a time you don't. To be honest, I probably could have taken the warp uh, that was a little bit closer by uh, earlier. Um, but, I mean, I just felt like gambling would, would kind of show you, like, a, a place where maybe we... Like, just a bit closer to what we were looking for. Um, but this room is pretty simple. These guys are just... 32 health goons, or, oh no, that 24 health goons, even better. One, two, so we take out that guy first with the danger sign because it has the range. We got one shot there, take two shots down here, take two shots up here, and one shot down here. Bam, that room is nice and easy, gives us another two charges to work with, and uh, we get this up here. Uh, we get another one of these and the advanced scanner. So um, any task ma uh, tack mask scan item like the tack mask or the saucy hat uh, now uh, displays additional information that we don't need and we probably know already because we are good old um, speedrunners. So now uh, we're looking to port over here as uh, pretty much as as low charge as possible, so absolutely not. Uh, okay, that's actually good. That's that's good. That's good. 
Um, so we got in a range where we could just walk up and take the elevator down. Uh, so that's not bad. It could be it could be better, um, but this is that's that's like a pretty average teleport, and uh, that's that's kind of what we needed for how little charges we had left, to be honest. But six is enough to work with. Six is good. It's a very, very reasonable amount. Plenty to do the auditor with. Uh, so that that locker had the tricky head and a couple grenades. Uh, grenades are... I mean, obviously we're just going to use a couple for the boss, but... Um, and the tricky head doesn't really do anything. I, I haven't really come up with a good strat with it. I, I, I don't think you can, to be honest. Um, but here we go. You're just gonna... I, I mean, actually, maybe you can. Um, but I, I'd have to brew on it for a little bit. So, uh, then, I mean, as soon as you come up out of that tricky area, you just go straight up here, head to the right, and uh, you're at the warp tower. That's... A warp over here will we'll get you set up uh, for the next split. I mean, that... There's not much to say about this split, in in all honesty. It's it's a pretty short one, but it's it's a pretty make or break one. It's a pretty it's a pretty critical one where you could save a lot of time by getting good warps, or you could have your run ruined by by bad warps. So, um, it's it's I I kind of hate this uh, this split because of that, but it's like what can I do? So uh, once you get around like kind of single digit charges that's when you should be considering taking uh, warps that are maybe a little further away just so you don't risk uh, teleporting further away and having to use even more charges um, but usually you want something like in in the zombie land area uh, somewhere around up here like maybe over here uh, just something where you don't have to walk too far to get to this room the closer the better and then uh, you want to get somewhere around here like somewhere around here is is actually pretty good um, ATP base is usually pretty far away, uh, somewhere like right around here is good, even, like somewhere, like anywhere in this area, that's, that's like, that's fine, it's not, not too many rooms, but, um, yeah, that's, that's about all there is to say, once, once you're over here and, and you have this unlocked, um, 90% is how much of the map should be done uh, before you head into the warp tower because the warp tower actually is uh, it's got a surprisingly large amount of areas in it uh, so um, that's that's it uh, as soon as you go up the warp tower starts and, and this one ends so uh, there's there's the simple little little split of locker hopping I, I hope you hated it like I do <laughs> all right uh, thanks for tuning in to uh, Split 14 Locker Hopping, and I'll see you in uh, second-to-last Split Warp Tower. Um, happy running.